released on August 6th to the Pixel and Pixel 2. Android 9 Pie is still not listed in the Android distribution numbers. Oreo sees a jump with the 8.0 14% from 13.4% and 8.1 at 7.5% from 5.8%. And combining for 21.5%, this 2.3 point increase makes Oreo the second most used version of Android, surpassing Marshmallow. <music> Lenovo company's vice president has shared some exciting information about the company's upcoming Z5 Pro device. He has shared a promotional image on his official Weibo account, which reveals the Lenovo Z5's two screw power and six position guidance technology for its sliding camera. Before we jump on our next story, make sure you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and press on the bell icon. If you have not joined our Telegram channel yet, then the link would be in the description below. According to the new report, Samsung might be working on its new S10 device, which is focused to be launched in 2019 around MWC. So the Samsung Galaxy S10 apparently continued to come in a version with 64GB on the market. And in July, there was a report that Samsung could plan for up to three sizes of Galaxy S10 device and apparently could be the small Galaxy S10 as usual with 64GB available storage. Xiaomi Poco F1 will get the MIUI 10 update, but with that, it might get the super slow-mo feature as well as the wideband L1 support. Recently, someone tweeted to Jaimani about the super slow-mo feature and Jaimani replied that we can definitely do that. The tweet is on the screen. With the wideband L1 support, user will be able to watch Netflix videos in 1080p resolution. Telcos including Vodafone, Airtel and Idea have silently disabled the top-up feature. If you are a guy who uses the e-wallets to recharge in order to get the service from your telecom service providers, you might have seen some problem or have seen the error when you recharge by entering any amount. Because these all telcos have removed the top-up feature. And to keep your service running, you will now have to choose package which they provide. So that's all stories for today. I will catch you in tomorrow's episode.